Hey everybody, Rory here with Totally Rory International and with the SageCircle.com or RosesLavenderAndSage.com. I wanted to just share a little message with you and I'm going to read to you. Um, I'm reading from a book that I got years ago um, and it's by um, Grandmaster Chokok Sui. And um, when I got this book, um, I was doing a certification for pranic healing. I took a number of pranic healing courses. And at the time, I took all of them that they had and the certifications and everything. And it was really awesome. Um, I remember taking the classes, the different classes that we had to take. And um, and what was I going to say? Taking the glasses. Oh, I recall already kind of knowing what to do from my experience that I had with the um, Institute that I attended for six years to develop my intuitive abilities. And it was interesting to to take these pranic healing courses and to get like, um, let me pull this up a little bit but to take the courses and get like a textbook on the things that I knew how to do in the kindergarten space. And when I say in a kindergarten space, like I just, we were taught just how to do th things um, and heal and, and things of that nature from a space that wasn't very heady. You know, it wasn't a bunch of books. There were no books. You know, um, we just had class once or twice a week. When I was in a clairvoyant program, class was twice a week. We had to do a psychic fair once a month. Um, and we attended other activities that were part of the program. Class was three hours long, each class. And everything was from a kindergarten space. We were taught how to do things, we did them. Okay. Um, but when I took pranic healing was later. And so it was very interesting to learn things in a different way, but it, I was pretty much learning the same things that I already knew. But this guy, um, and not to say that everything that I learned in the program was, was the same. It was not. I did learn a lot from the, the coursework with pranic healing. Um, but I do remember one course that I took, I took a number of courses with him, but he was kind of grooming um, the guy that would follow him um, and become the master after he passed away. Um, I forget his name, it could have been Michael or something. I can't remember. But anyway, so he was really good. I remember learning this healing tool from him where you could write something down and use it to heal with. It was awesome. I was like, oh, my stars, you know, I, I really enjoyed the program. So this is one of the books that I picked up, long drawn out story, but you know, I'm the storyteller and I'm always telling long stories. So anyway, so this book is called The Existence of God is Self-Evident. And I just, you know, I picked it up and I was like, hmm, what, what? you know, what can I read just to nourish my soul? And I thought I would share it with you after I read it. So it says the spiritual, oh no, I'm sorry. Spiritual energy is needed for expansion of consciousness and traveling in the inner worlds. worlds. Stillness and awareness are not enough. No spiritual energy, no expansion of consciousness. So if you don't have any spiritual energy, you do not have an expansion of consciousness. Spiritual empowerment or Shaktipat, Shaktipat, S-H-A-K-I, I know that Shakti, Pat, Shaktipat, I don't know, is the transference of tremendous spiritual energy to enable the consciousness of the, dis of the disciple to be able to travel to different levels of the inner worlds. I'm gonna read that again because I screwed it up big time. The spiritual empowerment uh, or Shaktipat is the transference of tremendous spiritual energy to enable the consciousness 
of the disciple to be able to travel to the different levels of the inner world. This transference of tremendous spiritual energy is called initiation in, in modern esoteric books. That's interesting. All right. That was number one. I thought that was kind of insightful. I don't even remember reading that before, but I, I probably did and just may have glanced over it. But it's reminded me, it's reminded me of a lot, you know, a lot, even as it talks about, you know, just, just the fact um, spiritual energy, using spiritual energy. And, you know, I have learned so much more about using spiritual energy over the last decade or two. You know, um, I think I saw him, I was taking all those classes probably in, when was I taking those classes? I don't know. I can't even remember. But, um, um, using spiritual energy, using the energies of um, the Orisha, using the energy of the archangels, using the energy of different deities or what have you, that is really important. Using energy period is so important in our ability to tap in you know, to tap into that consciousness. I've been able to work with people um, who might see really clearly. And so when they're seeing, I've been able to tap in and see what they're seeing, just how they see it. Like, just, I don't know that, you know, that's been something that I've been able to do, but to me, that's an expansion of consciousness, you know? So like we were able to merge and merge the energies, you know? Not to say that that's the best thing to do because <laughs> that might not always be a good thing to do to be diving in and out of other people's energies. But anyway, um, but it's definitely... Um, important to know that you could use the energies of others. You know, um, I know I would, because I've grown up as a PK, I've grown up, you know, in the Christian world with different, um, I've studied with different, what do you call them? Um, I forget what you call them, denominations. <laughs> I've studied with different denominations as a, a younger person, you know, um, when I was younger. And I, I noticed that it's ingrained in me. Some things just come instinctually. Like I recall, this was a while ago, but I was doing a healing on a young man. Um, I was actually doing a reading on um, a woman and then her son came into the reading and something happened in the midst of the session and then you, I bumped into some low vibrational being and um, I remember I was doing this in the car <laughs> and I remember my I went I was in the front passenger seat and I remember my hand went up to, no 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 yeah 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 it went up and I said in the name of Jesus and then I flew forward like I I, I didn't feel like I had control over what was happening you know and my hand kind of slammed on the dashboard and I said help me you know in the name of Jesus help me and I just remember the mo movements but I that is calling on the energy of a being, you know, a, a, a spirit person, you know, a, <laughs> you know, a higher being. And so, yeah, so there's nothing wrong with using the energy and to help expand our awareness, expand our consciousness. And 
I remember one of the times when I was in the visions of this young man, um, we went to inner earth and we, we went to some place and, um, and, and when I asked, where are we? I heard we were in the inner earth. I was like, this is the inner earth, but it was weird. It was water there. There was somebody, um, there was this big being, you know, on two legs, but you know, guarding this entryway and it was like a cave or something. It's like water, like you go in there. I was like, oh my, what is this? You know, and and then I heard it was an entryway to inner earth. Um, so yeah, so when he said, and then worlds, that's interesting too, the inner worlds, what is he referring to when he said that? You know, that was, I, I would like to know. <laughs> What were you referring to? I might have to talk to him, you know, <laughs> see what you was talking about there. Um, but no spiritual energy, no expansion of consciousness. So we have to tap into the spiritual energy. So that could be um, the energy that you connect with through your spiritual cord. You know, your spiritual cord is your connection to your higher self. Okay. And um, or your higher selves, I should say. So, you know, and I usually describe it as the energy, like it's up here, it's above your head and it's big and it can be expansive or it can be little and flat and gone. It could be, you know, you might not have that connection that is there that I see, you know, um, maybe, I don't know. I feel like your connection can disconnect. Um, your connection to your higher selves and to source of all God Almighty. Um, I, I feel like your connection can be severed. You can lose your connection. And I'm going to ask because I was debating with someone, not debating, but someone had a difference in their viewpoint. Um, and mine wasn't my viewpoint. Mine was intuition. So I was just like, okay, but let's see. Um, can you be, and let me, let me let y'all see. I'm not going to cheat. <laughs> I will be honest, whatever the answer. Okay. Yes. Is this way? No, is that way? Can can we be separated from our spiritual cord? Ooh, I'm sorry, I moved. Yes, okay. Yes is this way, no is that way. All right, so can we, okay, so we can be separated from our spiritual cord. Okay. Um, if you are connected to more low vibrational beings, more nefarious beings, if you are, you know, a follower of a more nefarious path, um, some people call it a darker path, whatever, um, you know, if you worship diabolical things um, or beings or whatever, do you have a spiritual cord? Yes. Now, is the spiritual cord connected to the top of your head when that is your practice? No. Where is the spiritual cord connected when you're more diabolical <laughs> or low vibrational? Where's your cord connected, please? Oh. N. T
on the T I. Okay. A. M. A. T. On the Tiamat. Is there more? No. Ashe, thank you. Now, where the heck is the Tiamat? I don't know where that is. Let's see. I'm going to push pause so you don't have to wait too long. Okay, so I, I put in the search engine, where is the Tiamat? And it says, it was located in the Dragon Irie lowest region, and she somehow connected it to her lair in Avernus. What the hell is this? Um, she was reputed to have a realm in Heliopolis. Is this, what is this? Um, <laughs> but, in fact, this was a hoax. Tiamat used in hopes to, in hopes of confusing her enemies. What is this? Is, is this a book? That looks like a book. Okay, so what is or where is the Tiamat? What is this? The rise of Tiamat, forgotten realms. Okay, still some dragon story. Ancient Mesopotamia, gods and goddesses, Tiamat. And I've heard of Tiamat being a god or goddess. Uh, where is, is there a Tiamat in the body? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking. Oh wait, what's that say about some DNA? No, okay, I'm gonna keep looking, hold on a moment. Okay, I just dug down the rabbit hole. All right, the reason why she spelled Tiamat is because Tiamat like rules the sex area, like the root chakra, like down in that area. Whoa. So that's where your spiritual cord is connected when you're more diabolical. That makes freaking sense. So the, the, the deal was the young lady that was kind of debating with me, I told her that, you know, the spiritual cord would be severed, blah, blah, blah. And she was saying that your spiritual cord doesn't get severed. You're, like your connection to source doesn't get severed. She was saying that um, it just is vibrating at such a low frequency that you can't see it. So that could make sense, I guess, right? Um, but now I see that that's not the case. Um, uh, so when you're connected with higher vibrational frequencies, source, um, source creator of all that is and all that is not, okay? When you're connected 
we see that here as a spiritual connection. We see that here, right? Um, the Christ, if you put your hands up in the air and clap, that's where the Christ connection is, right? Up there. Um, but it sounds like if you're connected to the darker side, it's connected, it, it, you know, in your root. So that's why some are so highly sexualized. It makes sense that a lot of their ritualistic abuse is sexual. That really makes sense to me. They're ruled, like I, I, I say to people sometimes, like I said to one person, <laughs> I don't say this to people, I said this to one person. And I asked, why are you ruled by your wiener roaster? Why? Why are you ruled by your wiener roaster? Why is that? Yeah. And this particular person, he, yeah, it all fits. That's why he's ruled by his wiener roaster. Yeah, whoa, I'm sorry. I'm just like <laughs> having a revelation here. Whoa, I had to read quite a bit to figure out why she was spelling Tiamat to me. And it's because like, if you want to do, um, like um, a healing or something on that particular chakra down there on your root chakra, you might use like the energy of Tiamat or whatever. I saw some places where she was described as nefarious, some places she was not, some places called her a vengeful, ven called her vengeful and temptuous. Um, and some said totally the opposite. Um, but that she also might rule over that. So, you know, and we all have different sides. Don't you have different sides to you? Yeah, okay. We all have different sides to us, okay? So, but yeah, how about that? So I guess now, like when I do my healing work and stuff, like I usually look at your spiritual cord to, um, <laughs> to, to just make sure that there are no obstructions there because energies or entities can get inside your spiritual cord. And a lot of times the reason why people um, are stuck or they can't, they feel like they've lost their connection to source is because there is something in their spiritual channel that is obstruction, obstructing their connection to source. So that energy pathway, that spiritual energy pathway has been obstructed. So I look there sometimes I usually look there first when I'm rusty I don't <laughs> and, and I mean and honestly I was rusty and then I was like wait a minute, let me just where your spiritual cord at <laughs> you know I was like and and I was like wait wait ho ho I, I where did it go like how you, you don't even have one, you know, but I ain't looked down now. I should have been looking at the, 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 you know, in the junk, you know, to see now how am I do that? You know, especially live, I'm be all live trying to see if you got a connection up here or down there. That's real special. All right. So anyway, that is really freaking interesting. So, so you healers out there, y'all that do the energy work and stuff. If you out there and the like, some some people can see, some people can feel. You know, if you feeling around up there and ain't no connection up there, like go feel down low, see if there's a connection right there. Make sure it's not a cord, okay? Because it, it could be a cord that you're feeling. Make sure, just go down there and see if you see a connection and go down like that, okay? Because I know this one goes up like this. I would assume that that one might go down like that. That's, whoa, okay? And the thing is, some people 
don't have a soul, you know, some people are created, you know, and, and they might not have a soul and then they may get planted a soul, you know, through the vril or something. They may get planted, not, not a soul, but you know, they might get something to take over this, you know, um, whatever they was in their carcass that they were in. And they might have their connection going down there. You know what I'm saying? It might be going down there. That is so crazy. But it makes sense. Whoa. With all of the stuff that happens, like the different abuses that happen that are one way or the other down there on the person, you know, the way they do their abuse, a lot of times it's always sexual. Anyway, so thank you. Thank you, God, for sharing that with me. Took me down a little rabbit hole, but that's okay. Learned something new today. How about that? Tell me what y'all think about that. Tell me what, what y'all come up with about that. I know I went all over the place. But let me know what y'all came up with about that. Now, this all started from me picking up Grandmaster Chokok Sweet's book and, and reading this little bit. But energy is real. Spiritual energy is real. You know, I'm using the spiritual energy now using this pendulum. And if you want to try using a pendulum, um, we will teach more about it in, 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 um, in Rosa's Lavender and Sage.com or the Sage Circle. But, you know, if you just want to practice on it, just make sure you're doing safety measures before you get started. Make sure you clean it off on a regular, you know, and make sure that you know who you're talking to. Make sure that you're protected. Make sure that you have an, al an allegiance that you're not going to communicate with nefarious beings unless that's who you are and your spiritual cord is down there. <laughs> But we don't really, my community is not for you. So don't come over here. <laughs> oh my stars. But this is so cool. I am glad I opened up to this page. This is how I do. Like even like, like if I want to read some spiritual work, or like um, in the, the Torah or the Bible or the whatever, whatever books that I have on my shelf, you know, I have plenty of books. <laughs> I have really an extensive library. But what I would do oftentimes is I would just, whatever God wants me to know is going to be on the page that I open up. And that's what I would do. And that's what happened that led to this, me having more clarity on this spiritual cord stuff, this spiritual connection and validation that is definitely necessary because some people will try to make you feel special or crazy because you don't believe what they believe you know they believe that um thou shalt not have any god before me and they feel like that means that you know god was saying there shouldn't be any other gods or there aren't any other gods, but there are. And he was just, or she was just saying that none of them should come before me, revere none of them before me. But you know, there's a difference in interpretation. I mean, the words are clear. That, that That's not even a parable. You know what I'm saying? Those words are clear. There ain't no story. You know, it's, you shouldn't have no other jokers that you, you, you know, worshiping before me. I'm numero uno. You know, I am God almighty. IT. I am the I am, you know, and so it's like, you know, I don't understand why people think that that statement means that there are no other gods. There are, okay, and and you know, the Bible does give us information. It gives us clues. It's a guide, you know, and even though it's not everything, and it is tainted because, you know, Big Brother. Uh, <laughs> King James, you know, and the Council of Nicaea, you know, put that joker together. But, you know, I'm not, you can't throw out the whole baby with the bathwater. I'm just saying it's not all bad. And you have to, again, use your discernment. But, 
you know, there are other deities out there that you can go to, you can communicate with, you can, you know, tap into the spiritual energies, you know, ask them to help you using their spiritual energies to expand consciousness. That's to manifest, to create, to see, to, to grow, to learn, to understand or understand, you know, I'm trying to work on these words. Well, I am working on these words. I'm not trying. I'm working on these words. <laughs> so to understand. Yeah. But I like this. Thank you, Grandmaster Chokak Sweet. Thank you. Thank you for this message. And thank you. Who was I talking to? Who was I talking to that told me uh, about Tima? I, is this God Almighty? Okay, yes. Yes, it's this way. No, it's that way. Okay, I should. Okay, so oh, I didn't have y'all seen it. I'm sorry. I meant to show it to y'all. But anyway, um, so yeah, I had checked at the beginning of the session and it was God Almighty, but I wasn't positive that by the end of the session, it was still God Almighty. So yeah, so thank you for sharing the information about the root chakra the and you're you know you refer to tiamat there and to to help me know what's going on wow so thank you thank you thank you thank you all for watching definitely let me know what you want to know okay if you have questions put them in the comment section below if you have experiences that you want to share share them in this uh, in the comment section below definitely share you know i really want to get the subscribers up so i can do things that other people are doing like doing the lives and all that good stuff so definitely share so we can have some fun together instead of it being like back and forth through the comment section even though i'm loving that too and i love you guys who have helped me with questions and clarity and all that good stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you guys in the next one. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. Ashay.